بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم النهارده 30 مايو 2023 بنكلمكم من قسطره شفا حيث تم افتتاح حجرتين القسطره النهارده وي هاف ا كيس اوف بي في سي اندوست كارديوميوباثي او كارديوميوباثي اسوشيت ويز بي في سي ذا ديليما ذا ديليما وي اولويز فيس ذيس از 35 يير اولد ميل بيشنت هو هاز امبيرد ليفت ديكر فانكشن دايليتد هارت ايجكشن فراكشن 45 44% And PVC is on his uh, surface ECG of two different morphologies. The PVC burden was 32%. So we decided to give him a session of ablation. And because of the different morphology and the two exits or the two morphologies of the PVC, we decided to go for uh, 3D mapping using CAR2 machine, the latest technology. Virgin 7 with the Ver pattern match. Pattern match with the uh, version 7. Uh, now we'll go to the case. Ma'ana Dr. John uh, Kamel. Uh, واحمد توفيق ويل ستارت وذ ذا فيرست بي في سي يلا هات هنا يا احمد. We had two PVC morphology uh, and uh, one was from the left side and the other from, was from the right side. So from the beginning we used uh, uh, two eight uh, French sheets one uh, in the femoral artery and the other in the femoral vein and we used uh, six French uh, sheets for the uh, coronary sinus uh, Catheter. So the coronary catheter was inserted high deep in the yes. CS. Which will uh, get us, uh, we will see the fluoro images. Yeah. So we uh, so we can uh, map the both right and uh, left sides. You used ultrasound guided puncture. Yes, we used ultrasound guided puncture, and Does it's it very. Does uh, it yeah, uh, We started this maybe six months, uh, three months. Yes, it's, it's much easier because we, we have uh, obese patient, uh, one puncture, and it's uh, more simple. Okay, show us the catheters in the beginning, the mag taha. And the stars. This is the CS. This is the CS catheter, and we have inserted the CS catheter uh, high up into the CS. And, uh, is it in the anterior carotid vein? Uh, this is, uh, uh, yes, yes uh, no? this is yeah. the, the REO and this is the LAO and we are projecting towards the anterior cardiac uh, vein. Okay, uh, and you inserted the carotid cancer into yeah, the left the side first? Yes. Okay, we, we'll Retrograde. go to the recording now to, with Dr. John Camel to show us the first morphology. Yes. Um, first of all, we record uh, two morphology BVCs. Uh, without even entering the, uh, the catheters. As we can see, the uh, uh, first morphology is bizarre uh, with the right bundle uh, branch block, uh, small S wave in V6, and uh, it's actually uh, big, uh, uh, the R wave uh, in lead one equal to the R wave in lead two, only negative AV, uh, AVR. So it's it is left sided, but um, may may it is uh, from inside the LV because it is not pure outflow track as the previous one. Uh, we suggest an uh, pure LV origin. Uh, the second one is uh, classic outflow track uh, BVCs uh, showing uh, a positive R wave in lead two and three and AVF by uh, negative in uh, lead one and the AVL with small R wave in lead one. Transition was at V3, RS. First of all, we uh, map the, the LV uh, BVCs because it has a high, much, uh, much, bird, much more burden, about uh, 60%. Uh, we will uh, move to the car to, to uh, uh, okay. So we, you start, we started with the LV PVCs because it has the highest burden from the holter which we revised before and then we started to map the left side. The CS caster is inserted deep into the anterior cardiac vein and this is very important to, uh, to, to see the difference. Uh, we used the conventional and both the CAR2 so we'll go to the CAR2 to the first PVC. Uh, start, uh, okay. Here we mapped uh, the uh, the site and here if we can look here we got very good potential so here we have this is the the left ventricle uh, the cancer in the left ventricle near the mitral annulus as you can see a and v so when you see a and v so you are close to the mitral annulus and john baa biulena the criteria of successful site in uh, john first by cartu by 3d map this is the hottest spot, hottest spot. Ah. Yeah. And uh, it is uh, 
it is uh, the uh, uh, all all the around uh, spots were lit, and this is the only hot spot. Uh, we proceed uh, the KRS complex by a white uh, 25, okay. and proceeding all the coronary sinus uh, catheter uh, signal. So. Uh, ablation at such a point eliminates the BBCs immediately. Okay. Hmm. We'll look here at the car with uh, this side. Yeah. This is the first PVC. We have pattern match, which is very important. She keeps the PVC, as you see, this is the first one. Yes. And uh, the pattern match is here. He give her a number. That, that, that's the number of the pattern match. It's 97 over here and 98. Yes. These were the earliest points, and we uh, were uh, 32 milliseconds earlier okay. than the chronic sinus and the body surface ECG okay so the, this was the first one okay it so was the red is the this is a local activation time yes and the red point is the earliest very yes. early point uh, okay. the PVC were eliminated in two seconds okay. and with only one ablation point very good so this we started in the left ventricle we didn't have to go to, to make a whole anatomical map of the left ventricle we are we are precise and concise we know where we want because we love uh, conventional and for us CARTO is uh, a luxurious uh, tool so we don't spend too much time to make a map of the left ventricle of the outflow tract of the mitral annulus no we go we head to the PVC because we, wh whatever very nice map you have you have to be on the spot as you see so the Ahmed Kafi was sitting on the on the peruka and Rahma here uh, John was moving with the caster and we got this point and was ablated completely then what happened yeah John we are going to look for the second PVC. Yes. When we uh, look to the second BC, uh, BVCs, we first map the uh, uh, aortic cusp because we are in the LV. It, it's so late. So, uh, and the coronary sinus uh, catheter uh, deeply engaged in the anterior cardiac vein uh, so such uh, nice potential which precedes the QRS complex by about 35. Okay. So we s w w already we, we know that it may origin from coronary sinus, but, but before uh, doing a coronary sinus map, we, go, we went to the RVOT to map. Okay, uh, so you, you decided, you, first you did not, you took the chance that you are in the left ventricle and you mapped the uh, left coronary cusp. Mm, it was late. Uh, and it was lit. So uh, 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 we we looked. At the guide is what the CS, the CS one and two was very early, was 30 milliseconds before the QRS complex. So we use the the CS as our reference in the conventional. Okay, Rahma will get the another uh, the second morphology as pattern match, another pattern match, and we'll see it here. So can you show us one beat which is not good, so that we can see what is the good look like? Here we have. Okay, this is, oh, so when he was mapping the left ventricle, you can see that this is very late, but the CS3 and 4 and 1 and 2 are very early. So he, you, you went to the RVOT. RVOT first, uh, uh, hoping that I could uh, uh, find a spot that more earlier than the coronary sinus. Okay. And uh, thanks God, we already got it here. We got a more, oh. a more signal preceding the QRS. Signal. This is a very early signal. You it can is see we are measuring from the beginning mm. of the QRS complex, and you have to, when you measure, you have to decide which one. As you can see, we are marking V1 uh, with the red so that we can yani, easily see uh, the pattern and the uh, identity. Is it the same PVC or is it a different PVC? So when we went here to the RVOT posteriorly, we got this very good signal which is 42 before the QRS complex. Mm. Uh, uh, and uh, Rahma, uh, ensured, Rahma uh, uh, ensured that these BVCs is classic uh, b uh, base match, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the uh, night night match. So it is a clinical Better BVC match. button match, yes. Rahma will see us. Uh, show us, show us. Rahma, el, uh, this second PVC. Yes. <laughs> okay, Ma Rahma, yalla. This was the second morphology. But this is RV. Okay. Uh, this comes from the RVT. RV. Yes. The RVT. Yes. It, it was. 
يعني the maps are only mapping the area, not the chamber. No, no. We are mapping the area. The specific area of interest. Yes. And we are using the second second pattern, as you can see here. Yes. Positive two, three, AVF, and transition at three. Exactly. This is the the specific area of interest in the RV to RVOT. It's posteriorly. Yeah. And we have the signal. It was early by 40 millisecond to the body surface ECG, and also the unipolar signal was perfect. Okay. Uh, uh, the pattern match here was 99%. Okay. So, and we ablated it. Yeah. yeah. Show us the ablation yeah, points. Yeah. These are yeah. the ablation points. Okay. We we always take area around the the, the good point or the hot point, so that because we know that sometimes PVC have another exit. Uh, John, we you, there was a third one which you said it changed its exit. Change of exit uh, had happened after ablation of, of such a uh, uh, spot. A, a, a minor change, actually, uh, with more positive R wave in uh, lead one than yes. these. Yes. This is uh, classically negative uh, in lead one. This is a more positive. Otherwise, it's the same. Okay. Uh, we we did a, 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 a pattern match for the 31, uh, and a new map was done. A third map. So third, uh, third map. We do not depend on the first or the second, but we go to a new map. A new so map. That we can get a, a brand, brand clean yes. from this site compared to the QRS complex. Yes, uh, and we found that uh, uh, it's uh, related to the second one, it's just uh, more uh, posterior. And lower. Ah, lower and more posterior. More posterior and lower. We Rahma Warina the third uh, map. The third map with Rahma, and we'll show it on Floro. So close to the second one, uh, it was also 99%, and it was posterior to the RVOT, but a little bit downwards than yes. the previous one. Okay, so we'll show it on Floro Yajun. This is the first one in the mitral uh, annulus, which had this axis, bizarre axis. The second one, Lao Samaht. This is the second one uh, from the RVOT. Yes, this is in the REO view. The other one was in LA view. This is the second one. Third one. La, Lisa, la. This is the Lisa. Uh, this is the third one. Yeah, but Lisa, how till Ah, this is the third one. Lower, it is in the RVOT, but at lower spot, a more posterior, as we saw from the CARTO. This is the benefit of having the CARTO with the posterior and the anterior. The floor is two-dimensional, but the CARTO is three. You can imagine how it makes it easier. Yeah. Oh. This is lower, as you can see. It is lower than the CS. Look at the CS. The CS is engaged down into the anterior cardiac vein. The, we will look at the at the uh, live screen now. We pushed, we took the ablation catheter down. Maybe you can see far field his. This is to avoid this catheter trauma or uh, induce the PVC from the catheter movement. As you can see, we have been waiting for 15, 14 minutes, 39 seconds. This is the waiting period after you ablate, and you can see one, not a single PVC. End of study.